A duel on the field, but you don't have a shield. About your arm, you drape your nice fancy cape. It may end up full of holes, but you're safer in its folds. Today, pairing a rapier with some fabric. Hello again, friends. Lauren back with you, and after we did Rapier and Dagger, there was a lot of interest in knowing a little bit more about Rapier and Cloak, or Cape. So that is what we're going to look at today. And uh, I've looked at the work of Salvatore Fabris in particular. There are other treatises, and you can see, find it in Capoferro as well. Um, but Fabris is 1606 uh, illustrations in particular are really good for showing what you can do with a cape wrapped around your arm, and your rapier. So let's look a little bit at that. The first thing to know, this is a Lord of the Rings costume cape that I bought long ago. Not for a Lord of the Rings costume, but it was cost effective. And you don't need to have a fancy cape in order to wrap around your arm. A bed sheet, you might need to cut it down a bit. A big towel, that would certainly work. And when you're wrapping it around your arm, you don't want it to be too long. A lot of these moves are done at a very low stance and with a lot of leaning. If you have this cloak or cape wrapped around your arm and it's too long, guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna end up stepping on it. And if you step on it, you'll probably stumble and you'll lose your fight. So you're in a low position. You've got this wrapped a few times around your arm. This is hanging low and you've got your arm up and you're protecting the most vital parts of your body and you've got your rapier out front. Now, a lot of the rapier stance and some of the manuals are a bit more upright and then you lunge forward. A lot of these um, plates that we're looking at, the illustrations, they're definitely really low stance. Some of them get extremely low to the ground, but you've got this as a shield. Now, it's not really going to protect your arm from impacts you still probably end up with a broken arm. So you don't want to just <laughs> throw this in the way of an oncoming cut. So it works really well for rapier. If you're really fighting against something heavier, you probably wouldn't want to use this in particular. But a thrust that comes in, you can definitely set aside using your arm. We talked about that in our first rapier video, how the arm can maneuver and manipulate. So we can still do the same thing. We've got a little bit of extra protection, so if we are close to the tip of the rapier and it's sharp, well, it's not going to do too much damage, but any kind of big impact is still gonna break your arm, so you don't wanna get your arm in the way of that. Now, the other thing to remember is that we've got the folds down here, we've got this loose fabric, and this is something that we can use to capture and tangle and get the blade in there on our opponent. So we can actually catch this oh, the blade below. And so we are keeping it up. We are using it like a shield, but it's a moving piece of fabric. We're not going to be able to just deflect everything, but with motion, as we can set aside using the fabric and then countering. So that's really how we want to use this. And a lot of the moves are, I've got this up and then I'm reaching and thrusting in, or I'm coming around. Some of the plates show that we keep these close as I'm getting the rape, uh, opponent's rapier out of the way and coming in for a thrust. And yes, as a last resort, you could throw it. But remember, it's quite wrapped around your arm a few times so that you don't have it too long. It's not trailing on the ground. So throwing it isn't exactly the easiest thing to do. Plus, I'm not a fan of throwing away your weapons and your defenses. Um, when you do that, then you don't have them anymore. And if it doesn't go well, well, now you have more exposure. So if you were to throw your cloak or cape at the opponent, you'd probably aim for their face. You want to block their vision as you then follow up with an attack. You're not probably going to get it draped over their head, probably won't end up like that, but you are going to be able to get it out there, throw it at their face, block their vision for even just half a second, and come in with your thrust. But again, this is mobile, it's generally held 
fire closer to your face, your chin. It's offering a whole bunch of protection to the length of your body. You're not going to have it down there. You're going to have it up. Your arm is going to get tired, but you are going to be able to fight and you have this moving around with you. So that's just a little look at using capes and cloaks as a defensive option when fighting with swords, particularly the rapier. Now I will link to uh, a, a video, Martin Fabian did, has one really good stuff, so I'll link that in the description if I remember where it is, I'll, I'll go find it, and then you can see some actual exchanges between two people fighting using capes wrapped around their arms with their rapiers. And uh, it's pretty good, it shows you a lot of the good techniques and uh, it'll really demonstrate how a fight like that looks. So if you are writing or you're putting it into your role-playing games, things like that, you can get a good idea for the flow. But again, if you're really down low, you've got just, your arm is going to be tired because you're up, you're covering, you're doing a lot of work that way. Just this is almost like if you look back at sword and buckler, how they work together, same thing. This is going to be working with your rapier. And then at times it'll move away, allowing you to get in and attack. Of course, your opponent will probably do the same thing with the cape, so you'll have to get around that as well. So keeping it off the line and coming around, always a good idea, because then you're trying to avoid the opposing cape that would otherwise get in the way. All right, that was just a quick look, extremely quick look at some of the techniques and how you would wrap this around your arm and use this. Again, we've uh, passed 300 subscribers, so thank you very much, everyone. I appreciate all of your support. Do remember to like, subscribe, comment, see what you want, because people wanted to see about capes and cloaks, so we did a video about it. Yay! So whatever you want to see, we'll discuss it. And if I can do a video on that, I'm more than happy to put that forward to you. So again, thanks very much. Have a great day. And we'll see you again real soon.